Charlie and today we're going to do a quick installation on of Cody on a brand new First thing we want to Fire do is stick to our app settings. We want to go to systems all the way to developers option. We want to turn off turn on ADD debugging. You want to turn on unknown sources so that you can have access to put in outside apps, side load apps. When we want to go into about and we want to go into network and right in there you look and you find your root of your IP address, address and then you get out of here. You go to your smartphone, you go to your app store and you want to download app to and you also fire. download fire Cody. app to fire right here and i already have it installed i'm going to click on that i'm going to open slide it across and we're going to click setup and it's going to app uh, you're going to ask for your ip address right here you're going to click and see if you can find it it's going to look around and see if you can find you it you can see it's right here so we're going to click on it so we have it and we're going to so save it once you do that you go to your your local apps that you have on here, you find Kodi. You're gonna click on here and you're gonna click install and install in on Fire. And Please. It, should set, it, it should send the app straight to your Fire TV. So it said the Kodi is installed successfully. So let's go and see if it's so there. We go into our settings, we slide across to application. We want to go down. To manage and install and, and here we go this code is right here we click on it and we launch the application if it doesn't launch we're gonna find that it does a lot of this we try it again let's click restart on clicking it Cody I'm gonna restart the fire stick launch application and it looked like it would come this time. So that's what you need to do is if it doesn't, if you get that error message, just restart, restart the fire stick and try it again. And here we go. And we have a fresh copy of code. So here now that we have, we have code installed on the device. Um, it's working pretty good. You can see right here, most of it, the, there's nothing below here. If it's your first time to code it, then know that there's not, there's supposed to be apps below here. Here there's none. So that's where we have to put on a add-on. So we're gonna go to system. We wanna go to file manager. We wanna go to add source. I'm gonna click on add source. And in there, we want to type in. So this is what you want to type in in here: HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot tv addons dot ag. Make sure you type this in properly. Make sure you you check your spelling. One mistake in there, and it just wouldn't work. You're gonna click done. Here, you're gonna go down to the bottom, and you're gonna give it a name. I call it fusion. Just to keep it simple, fusion. I'm gonna click done. You're gonna click OK, and you go back on and go back to systems, and you want to go to settings. You want to go down to add-ons. That screen gonna come up first time. Just click OK. You want to go down to install from zip file, and then you want to go down to Fusion. Remember that name you gave it. That's where it comes in. You want to click OK. You want to start here. Go down to Plugin Video Wizard Hub and click that. It should say Enable in the corner here in a short while, and which it did. And then you want to go back, go back to the settings, go to Programs, click on Programs, click on Program Add-on, Configure Wizard, click on that. This window is going to open up and go all the way across to Android. Click on Yes. 
And this is the finish line. This is it. It's, it's coming. It's so coming. The process coming. is done. You want to click OK. Extract and zip file. And right here, we can go down and we can click at the bottom here and close the program. Click exit. All we do right now is we start in the program and then we're going to launch it all over again. And that should complete the installation. And now if you look now, we have everything running here. If you go to programs, you have installers, you have music, SoundCloud, everything here. Um, this window is going to come up. You're going to dismiss that. You can see it's still downloading stuff here. You can let it download it and just not do anything to mess with the download. If you go to videos, you have some of the stuff that you gonna, you're going to use to watch your videos. So these are the apps that Exodus, Salt, Velocity, and those two, they either really like them. So I'm going to show you how to remove them system. in a while. Click on System. Click on Appearance. Uh, you want to go to Skin, Settings, click on Settings. Then you want to go down all the way down to add shortcuts right there. So this is what we have up there, those five here. I'm going to change those two here. And I'm going to give you a recommendation of, of the ones that I think that work better. So you, just, you go on the one you want to change, number four. You want to click on that. And normally, I would recommend that you use Royal Wii. And on this one, I would, number five, I would recommend that you use Phoenix. But remember, there's a lot of stuff in there that you can you can put on there. It's up to you. You can play around with it. But these are the ones that I, I highly recommend, um, especially Phoenix. I use Phoenix a lot. Videos. So these the, all these will do the same, but I recommend Phoenix a lot to, to, to most of my friends. You go on the side, you can change and put thumbnails again. And this will bring up all kind of stuff. Um, Phoenix TV, Pots, Phoenix, all different kind of stuff. Phoenix TV. And again, you go to the side and you change to film thumbnails. And you can see they have sports, even entertainment, TV shows, um, even news. You can get, so you can go to news, you can go to, I think they should have CNN, CNN, Fox, all that stuff is on there. You just click and and see it playing for yourself. Um, new movies, new releases up there. So that would be movies in theater. Again, I like to go to the side and change the thumbnails. I would go one more time, one more time. Let me see. This is the one I normally use so that I see all the names of the of the of the movies on the side, and I can go down like this. And it give you a little, give the information battle here. Um, so let's try 2016. There's a there's two links. See, you see me now, and you can click on that, and it should start playing. So there we go, and we can fast forward. Playing in 1080p. So again, this is. On the Fire Stick, right now I'm paying for this is this is forty nine dollars, fifty dollars, and you're gonna get unlimited amount of programs on this. This is Charlie. If you like, like and subscribe. I am. And go to network, and you should get your IP address. So you get your IP address. And you want to write it down. Then you want to go to your smartphone. 